Hey, Carrie. Hey, PJ. That's not funny. I said PJ. That's not funny. All right, Pat. That's not funny either. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Hey, y'all. Hello, Helen Mary Brewer, Diana, Helen again, Kim Marie. Kim, Kim Marie. Kim, Kim Marie, Kim, Kim Cardu. <laughs> I'm a good son, PJ. I hope Myron remembers to call me after he moves out. <laughs> uh, I know the feeling. We have a permanent resident. We love him, but he's permanent. So, how was your week so far? It just feels like it's dragging and taking forever. I guess it's the anticipation of a three-day weekend. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, going to give people a few minutes to hopefully get their YouTube notification because we all know how slow YouTube is. Yeah. Man, we've already got some likes going. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yes, you guys are. Very, very awesome. And we're going to look at a little bit of happy mail and... Some of the pours that we did on Sunday, so we can see how they turned out. They haven't been sealed yet, but they Cause, still look pretty. Because I am a bad art bitch. Oh, you've just been a busy art bitch. That I have. We've been recording a production video, which should be released on Monday. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Crystal. And Pam. And Pam. Welcome to the show. It's just a LaCroix. It's not a beer. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Yeah. Now, Carrie, on the other hand, she is drinking a vodka cranberry made by yours truly. Well, the way I look at it is if I'm going to be playing with it, alcohol, I should be drinking alcohol along with it. I get that logic. Hey, Kiki. Hey, Kiki. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> All right. Hey, Don. Hello, Don. Come on in. Get comfortable. Lynn's in the house. Lynn. How you doing? I'm good. Oh, I was asking Lynn I, I, how she's doing. Ah, okay. Just, just making sure. Vodka chocolate mud. I would drink that. Uh, I'm not much of a vodka person except, uh, you know, Tito's. I like Tito's. But I'm more of a tequila gal myself. I mean, how can you not like alcohol that puts their bottles and sweaters <laughs> for the winter? <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out something to do with these. I don't know what, but they're just too darn cute to throw away. They're cute. I yeah, like them. Yeah, they're very cute. I just don't know what to do with them. Hey, Heather Cat Lady, how are you? Yeah, I hate wrapping presents. I hate it. My OCD kicks in if those corners aren't sharp and square and the pattern doesn't line up. Start over. It's a real struggle in this house. <laughs> That's why gift bags are your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And tissue paper. Can forget the and it's got to be good tissue paper. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, sir. <laughs> I hey. You're lucky. I love you. You do that all the time. You'll say he hey, when it's Joyce? a she. Yeah, I, I have issues with pronouns. Just not not friendly of pronouns. How hey. are you, Mrs. Boring? Hey, Miss Joyce. Or Miss Mrs. Ms. I don't know. Mrs. Mrs. Uh, use air dry clay, make two cranky crafters and enamel. That would be hilarious. Well, almost need to get Mama B to sculpt chickens. Yeah. And we'll pull them in sweaters. That would be interesting. All right. So are we going to get started? Yes, All are. right. What's this? What's All happening? Right, What's going a, on? A little, little happy mail. Uh, this is from Lori, who isn't in here yet. 
No, but she is on the other side of the world almost, isn't she? No, no. she's in Virginia, dude. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's right. I get my geography so <laughs> wrong. And she sent me, uh, she was able to find some of the L.A. colors that uh, we were talking about when we were doing the uh, color, the glimmer. Haha, glimmer, miss. I didn't call them glamour. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she sent me gold and silver. This just in. Joyce is a missus. Ah, okay. I'll try and remember that one. And she also keeps telling me about Wilton Gel Foo colors. Now, those colors, while they don't show up as vividly bright as they are in real life, they still show up incredibly well on camera. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. Now, my only question is, uh, PJ had found them at Walmart because uh, he went Walmart shopping for me. This was after, right after I had my bathtub incident. And he was like, well, I found something, but the ingredients say that it has sugar and all these other things in it. So he didn't get it because, you know, figured what will a sugar do after it's either been in a bottle or on the paper and it's kind of sitting out. Is it going to do something weird? Well, it'll crystallize that and it'll attract mold. Right. Yeah. So he didn't get any of it but i mean these colors are just eye popping i mean that's on mm. yupo i mean it is just amazing and Lori keeps going on and on about these things and how uh she had bought some more of them and she took a toothpick to get the foil off the top of the bottle and just that little bit that got on that toothpick she put in her spray bottle, and that's all it needed. And it came out just as vibrant and beautiful. And I had asked her in the flock, you know, I said, well, what are your thoughts on it having the sugar and stuff in it? She was like, you know, I never even thought about it. And uh, she goes, well, why couldn't you do use them with a... Uh, Hey, Lori, speak of the devil. Hey, Lori, how are you? Hey, Wanda, thanks for stopping by. Hey, Wanda's in the house. Cool. Uh, I didn't see her. She said that, you know, you could make alcohol inks because the alcohol should yeah. neutralize any of that. So I think next time I'm somewhere that has some of these, I shall uh, be getting some and making some alcohol inks with it because... Or alcohol sprays because these are just absolutely gorgeous. And thank you very much, Lori. You certainly taught this old dog some tricks, and I appreciate it. And we'll tuck that away so I know where they are until I put them. Whoops! Yeah, you I just put them away. Aren't craft the lunch <laughs> uh, yeah, until you know I put them away. So I know where they are and then can't find them. Typical. But for right now, I at least know where they are. So, Carrie, we did a live stream on Sunday. And Mary has a very good point. Also, oh. glycerin. Oh, okay. Well, we've got glycerin. Yeah, we got plenty of glycerin. We got like a half gallon of glycerin. So, Carrie, yes. on Sunday, we took over mom's spot because she was uh, unable to stream and we did some pouring. I see you've got some uh, upside down pours on your table. Does that mean you're going to show it to us? Yes. All right. And again, they haven't been sealed, so they're not going to be as shiny as they would or glossy as you, they would be. Use your imagination, folks. But this, here, we'll do it that way so everybody can see their ostrich. Because I can't unsee the ostrich no, now I that can't. you all said you saw an ostrich in it. <laughs> but there is that one. It has a lot of glimmer to it, like in through here. That's from the color shift paints. And you can see it a little bit in the light. 
but just the way that that paint came off of that upside down cup I had on here is really kind of cool. And there's that one. Put that one over yonder, please. Yes, ma'am. And then this was just a smattering of different colors, two different cups that opposite sides. Here's where they met and still see they haven't even been wiped off yet. So there's still some dimethicone on here that we'll have to take off before we try and seal it. But this has a lot of glimmer to it between the metallic paint and the color shift and glitter that was in some random paints. But I think it turned out pretty well for just <laughs> dumping some paint in a cup. Mary says, I can still see the creature from the dark <laughs> crystal on the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still lurking. Yeah, Helen is loving the cells and the shimmer. Yes. And I don't even know that you had dimethicone. No, you did have yeah, dimethicone. Yeah, you can see it. Right. And then this is the six by six tile uh, that I had asked, you know, what colors. And Mama B, with her love of orange, asked for orange. And that's about all the orange you can see that popped through. Yeah. Um, well, I guess it's heavy. I guess. And then over here, like right here. <laughs> Is where a cell came up and it brought up like a few different colors and it almost looks. Um, can't think of the word. Pearlescent, pearlescent maybe. Yeah. Makes sense. But it almost looks like an alcohol sort of design that you would get playing with alcohol inks. So hopefully the alcohol inks that we do tonight will look even half as good. I'll be happy. <laughs> So there's that one. Is the tray dry? What tray? The no, I wouldn't put it in there. There's some wet spots still. And then this one, another six by six had dimethicone. Now I don't know how well it's going to pick up, but you can see this is what I was talking about with the dimethicone. When you add it, and if you don't stir it very well. To get a lot more of it broken up, you end up with this almost like orange peel type of effect. Now, it kind of goes away if you put enough layers of sealer on there, but it will always have that weird little texturized thing going on. Now, it the dimethicone does give you... A lot of really good cells, a lot of big ones, and you can see where it had mixed in and it was smaller, so it gave me the smaller cells. But price you pay if you put other stuff in your paint, sometimes you'll end up with that on there. And then these were the two little uh, wood laminate sample pieces that I asked for color choices. This was pink, orange, and I think green. And I don't know where the blue came from or the purple. I, s I <laughs> snuck those in. But, and that almost looks like a tree ring. Same with that. But it has, it, it had a mind of its own apparently. And then this was pink, green, and pink, green, and I don't remember the third color, but that almost glows down there, and that's kind of cool. But just to give you an idea that you can literally almost pour on anything, you know, wood laminate, tile, if, it, if it's non-porous and will hold up to being wet and not want to buckle, you can pretty much pour on anything. I mean, I poured a real pumpkin. So you can almost literally pour on anything. And I got to say that uh, that pumpkin, it lasted, God, what, three months, two months? Well, I did it like mid-October. Yeah. 
And when did you throw it away? Last week. No. Yes, Friday. All right, so October two two months easy. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's not too bad. If you want something decorative and you don't want to have it die right away, yeah. pour it. They have they even have glow in the dark paint. So you get all glow in the dark paints. Pour it. You know, it'll charge outside during the day with all the sunlight. At night, it just glows by itself. You don't even have to worry about cutting it. Because once you cut it, that starts the countdown for when you're going to have to get rid of it. Exactly. Hey, Jillian. Welcome to our funky show. Hey, Jillian. And uh, now, Lynn, she has a question. Are you selling any of these? Sure. Do you want them? Let me know. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we're still working on pricing because we're trying to populate her store. We've got a ton of stuff that we can put on the shop, but uh, just we're bad at pricing stuff. <laughs> We've decided that we're going to be selling our beads or her beads for uh, uh, a dozen for ten dollars, and that's completely finished, coated with the uh, the embossing uh, powder. It's just all ready to go, eyelets and everything. But, but that's as far as we've gotten. But yeah, if anybody's interested in anything that you see on here, unless I say, "Oh, I'm making this for so and so," just just ask me. I'll probably be like, "Yeah, you know, <laughs> how much you want to pay?" Because <laughs> I have more stuff that I've made just essentially to either make myself feel better because it gives me something to do other than sitting and watching TV all evening, and you know, it it's just a mental break and able to switch gears and do something creative for myself instead of worrying about you know oh i gotta get up and get to work or oh i gotta do laundry i can kind of forget about all that and just <laughs> yeah. have fun hey lisa hey lisa thanks for coming on in all right now these are the little canvas those were the dips Stop right. it. I'm asking. I'm getting to that. Oh, right. These are the little canvas panels that I said, you know, you can pour on them. But for me, the amount of paint I use per pour, they end up bowing. Um, even in, with dipping them, they did keep their shape pretty much until you look at them here. They, they start to warp a little bit. So just keep that in mind. These are usually relatively cheap at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and you can be really tempted to get them to pour on, I I really wouldn't recommend it. Because if you try and be skimpy with the paint, then you're going to have to do a lot of this to try and get the paint to go around. And when you do all of this to get the paint to spread, then you get a real jagged look. Unless you like that, then go for it. But to me, I would rather have more paint than I need so that it can just do its thing without too much manipulation from me. Yeah. So. Hey, we've got Linda McAllister and Scotty Allen. Well, hello, ladies. What's up? And welcome. Just going over a couple of the, or all of the <laughs> pours from Sunday. <laughs> and this was a dip. And this actually turned out really cool. It almost looks like different colors of flames or feathers. I guess I have fire on the brain because fire to me it looks like flames, and I think it turned out really good considering all I did was well originally I dropped it in there the wrong <laughs> way and went uh oh, flipped it and dipped it and I think it turned out really well. So you you wait you flipped it and you dipped it yeah hey that's what she said flip and dip. <laughs> and just a, a, a tip to all you guys, if you do want to use these hard boards, uh, we have found a way that does flatten them back out if you want to pour on them. It's not really uh, recommended, but we have a very, very uh, dead, very, very heavy lithium ion battery pack for like a, an, uh, like a power, uh, power backup. And you can use a car battery or anything that's just really dense, really heavy. You just basically sit this face down on a towel or a cloth or something, and you put the battery right there. And I've, obviously, once it's dry, and well, I yeah. would I would do it before you seal it, so that the seal, the whatever you're using to seal it, when you do push it back to the right shape, that doesn't crack. So I would do it. After dry, but before sealing. I haven't shown this one yet. Back off. Well, all right. 
And this is another uh, dip. And to me, it almost looks like it's something underwater. Like here's a fish, bubbles in the water, and some coral. Maybe another fish right there, fish there. I think it turned out really good. I wish I could plan something like that and have it turn out. But I think that really turned out kind of neat. And yeah. there's so many colors in there. And over here, there's paint there, but it's thin enough that some of the canvas texture shows through. And it reminds me of, oh no, was it Lynn or Andrea that did the picture and put it on the flock? And I said, I think that looks like it's cross-stitched. Oh, who? But I, I think it was Andrea. I, th okay. I think it was Andrea. Sorry, Lynn, if I'm wrong. And that gives me that makes me think of that because you can see the the weave of the canvas showing through, and it almost looks like cross stitch. And then you know, if you don't have anything like that, or if you're into doing ATCs or anything of that nature, and you have some old business cards, playing cards paint chips because as mama b will tell you every time you go somewhere that has paint chips you should walk out of there with fistfuls because they're free and because why not <laughs> <laughs> so you know just random little dips that you can go back over and do mixed media atcs cut them up put them in journals do whatever you want to do with them i haven't figured out anything to do with them yet but I have some. <laughs> I can at least say that much. Don't switch cameras yet. Okay. All right. All right. And so the first thing we're going to try tonight is we're going to do alcohol inks on ceramic tile. And we're going to be setting those suckers on fire. Fire! Now, I've done this once before when I first saw this being done on YouTube because... I, I don't know. I guess I have a little pyro in me. I like setting stuff on fire. Controlled, responsible, but I like it. It's fun. <laughs> so I figured I'm going to try it. And this is what came out. You know, it could be flowers with leaves. I don't know. But I like how it gives it that aged look. It almost looks like it's been distressed, but it's just that it was a puddle of alcohol ink a few times getting set on fire. Oh, Kim Marie's never seen this before. You're <laughs> uh -huh. in for a fiery treat. I don't know Marie. how well the flame will show on camera, but well, you'll see me hop back because I'll probably end up burning myself yeah, it'll at least be, once. It'll be all but transparent. We do have to turn the lights off if we want it to be seen. And we should. Flambe. We should because of the fact that it is partially transparent. Yeah. Uh, so flambe. it might get a little dark in here. Don't worry. We're not doing any nookie. We're just <laughs> burning shit. Yes, Heather. Every time I say fire, I always want to go. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> exactly. Fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> yeah, fire. <laughs> So that was my first and only time messing with alcohol inks and fire. I love alcohol inks, but I hate them at the same time. Um, I'm too much of a control freak, and it's hard for me to just let something happen on the tile and hope that something comes out of it. I want to sit there and make it do what I want. And I have to learn that, that that just isn't how alcohol inks work. Unless you want to take and, you know, use a paintbrush and, you know, paint out what whatever you're trying to do. But when you're trying to do just abstract and using air or fire to get your picture, it's really hard to just let it have a mind of its own, at least for me. You know, I'm just pointing this out here, but if you added water to that equation you, you earth know. wind and fire yeah I, I need a little dirt too yeah because then we turned from a really cool disco group <laughs> to the avatar <laughs> just saying yeah just saying so uh carrie when it comes to uh alcohol inks uh do you buy do you make uh what brand and where do you get it uh 
Let's switch over to the other camera. And I don't have many. Uh, no, not many at all. No, I really don't, considering how many of them are out there. Yeah. And the fact that you can make these. I haven't made any because I I don't know. I just haven't. You can get them from Ranger, a.k.a. Tim Holtz, a.k.a. Leaky Bottle, a.k.a. Overpriced. Holy crap. Joyce says, do you remember Ren and Stimpy? Yes. You idiot! <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I loved Ren and Stimpy. So did I. All right. But, yeah, so you have... <laughs> log, 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 log. <laughs> <laughs> what rolls downstairs and comes in pairs. And sorry. There, I, this camera's like crooked or something. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, Ranger Pinata. Uh, Pinata is by Jacquard. Uh, it is equivalent, as far as I'm concerned, to Ranger. It's a little bit cheaper. Especially when you can get a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different colors for probably the same price you'd pay for three of Holtz's. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. Does the Jacquard brand come in black? Yeah. So you've got Jacquard Noir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now the one thing i mean you've if you've watched me do even a few things in these lives you've seen me use unicorn spit no gloves you've seen me pour no gloves you've never seen me wear gloves but you will tonight because the, between the ranger bottles leaking and stuff getting blown around if i decide to use canned air it gets everywhere and this stuff does not come off easily at least not That's on my skin <laughs> so and you need to be paying attention to the chat room on how to make alcohol ink because i'm not sitting here reading uh, well no we'll we'll have to talk after the show okay all right so as you can see got old faithful here Ready to go. All right. Just don't point it at the monitor. I won't. That's why I'm over <laughs> here and the monitor is safe over there. Well, don't point it towards those compressed air bottles, too. They are getting ready to get moved. Okay. So a lot of people, well, a few people that I've seen that are really into alcohol inks, Mama B included, not that she does a lot of alcohol inks. But when she does, wow. She has an air compressor. I don't. I stick with the canned air um, or now, her trusty art bitches, uh, uh, blowing, uh, you know, capacity. Yeah. Uh, I have three started bottles. The downside to these, A, you can go through them pretty quickly. If you're spraying a lot, these things get cold, they get ice on them, and then they don't want to spray worth a hoot. So then you move on to the next and the next. And when all else fails, you have even more. So... We'll get these out of the way so nobody explodes. Stop it. All right. So same type of tile that you could use for pouring. You can do your alcohol inks on here. Uh, these I like because, again, being a control freak and not liking a lot of the stuff I do, if I really don't like it, when it's on a tile, you can wash that sucker off and you can just have at it again and keep going until you do end up with something that you like. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Hey, Tracy. Uh, so that's that's why I like tile. It's not so much that, you know, it's easy to hang because it's really not. It's I am looking to... Hopefully, I've already tried it once and failed miserably, but I'm going to try and do coasters. The stuff I got, either I, I think I read the directions wrong. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to oh, try and do yeah. coasters with them. So that's why I still go back. But you can use do alcohol inks on Yupo. They have all kinds of different papers and stuff that you can try using. As long as it has a uh, slick... Um, non-porous surface so that the ink just doesn't 
settle right into it. So no wood. Right, because you're not going to get any movement. And that's why if you're going to do it on paper, make it Upo. Otherwise, it will suck right into the, the, the fiber. I mean, you can do glass. Yeah, any anything that isn't going to just suck it all in there. One thing you have to be careful about with alcohol inks, it is water soluble. Yes. So you don't want to use polycrylic or polyurethane unless it's oil based. Correct. Because if you use a water based poly, it will reactivate the alcohol while it's trying to cure. And that is not good chemistry. No, it's not. And it makes horrible art too. <laughs> Oh, let me. And these gloves annoy me because they're too big. Too big. Helen has a question. What yes. is a cheaper version close to Yupo? Uh, she can't seem to find it in any shop anywhere near here. I will have to look that up for you, Hells, and I will message you. I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called. But there, there are alternatives to Yupo. Just don't get mad because I can't remember it right now. <laughs> now for for four tiles, the only thing I'll do is hit it with a little alcohol, wipe them off. There, you will have on occasion some tiles that, for no real reason, will not behave properly and the ink will kind of pull away even more so than it does normally uh, the only thing I have found that helps that and it's not even a guarantee on that is to take and wash it with some um, like soap and water get it real good and dry I would even let it sit a while in case the back gets wet and just try it again it might take a couple of times but you should be able to get it to where it'll actually behave itself and if it doesn't pour on it <laughs> <laughs> hey heather says uh be careful with the gloves burns can actually be worse when the gloves melt so don't hurt yourself woman yeah no i i used to be a technician in an orthodontist office and had to wear gloves granted they fit a lot better than these things do and having to take uh instruments out of the autoclave and you think because you went like this to it real quick that it had cooled down enough so you grab a handful <laughs> and next thing you know you're starting to smell a little uh melty latex and some skin hey jane hey, thanks J for stopping on in hey jane uh, Scotty wants to know what is Yupo? Yupo is. It is. I shall show you. Yeah. It's like paper, but far away. Yupo is, and I shall read what they have written. A true innovation in fine art substrates. The synthetic tree-free paper is everlasting and non-absorbent. It resists buckling with wet media and can be wiped clean. Pigments will retain true clarity and brightness, a new way for techniques to flourish. This is Yupo Medium. So it's essentially plastic paper. Yes. Yeah. And Yupo can, uh, you know, you, you can catch it at decent prices on um, Amazon. Hey, Mama Bee. Did not see you. Mama! But I don't know if you can see it on here. Not really, but it does. It is very slick. You can even paint on here. You can do dips with this stuff, and it will not go through because it is... It's non-porous. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like plastic. It is wonderful stuff to work on. Mm, yeah. Jane's uh, we're giving a warning. You can't rip that stuff. No, you have to uh, use scissors or Skizzers. a linear cutter or a rotary cutter, rather. Which we just got a rotary color cu color uh, cutter last weekend. Yeah, and, and the the one thing I have to say to anybody who knows somebody that knows someone else who designs stuff like that, you really need to stop and think: What if a left-handed person picks this up? 
because the way this thing is designed and it's made by Fiskars is that if you are left-handed, you're essentially holding that thing upside down. Yeah. So you try and flip it over and then it's backwards. So you either have to rewire your brain to do it, hold this thing upside down and backwards in your left hand, or be very careful and try and do it with your right. I mean, I can do a lot of things with my right hand, but using something that is <laughs> that sharp and that thing is very sharp scares the bejesus out of me and stop it. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> but this is an example of alcohol ink. Uh, it's a picture frame. There is... The majority of this is on Yupo, like in through here is Yupo under the glass. And then the underside of the glass around the edges is alcohol ink. So when you put everything together, A, you don't have to worry about sealing it because it's inside something that hopefully it won't get wet. But it gives you some depth because you've got layers of alcohol and it it just you can't really it doesn't come through on here but it is super cool in person <laughs> even if i have to say so myself yeah no i really love watching you do it uh lisa says no one thinks about us lefties uh we're always ha we always have to figure it out for ourselves uh yeah that's kind of like me uh i'm a lefty i play drums and guitar right-handed uh, and I use my right hand to, uh, you know, navigate throughout the computer just because I work on computers for a living. I'm an IT guy. So I'm always going up to people's desks that are right-handed as are 90% of the world. And, uh, so I just kind of had to adapt. And, uh, it's, it's funny though, Carrie, myself, and my mom are all left-handed geniuses. Okay. okay. So here is the thing, right? So you're looking at it, you're going, oh, yeah, that's cool. That'll be so sharp. It'll make it so much easier than using an exacto blade. <laughs> you get home, you take it out of the package, and then you realize, ah, this sucks. Because you go like that, it exposes the blade. So if you're right-handed, you can actually see where the edge of the blade is in comparison to whatever it is you're trying to cut. You know, especially if you're using a ruler to keep the the line straight. But you come over here and you put it in your left hand. Once you have it down, unless you're going to lay your head on your desk and try and look through a ruler <laughs> and cut paper, you can't see where the blade is. Let me see that real quick. No. Yeah, yeah thank you. Well, now he's going to re-engineer it after I complain. Oh. All right, but anyway, let's set some stuff on fire. I like that. All right. I have nothing planned. We're just going to see what happens. And because my favorite color is blue, that is what we shall start with. And yeah, da -da. yeah. Da -da. Okay, sometimes, well, it's usually a waste of time to, uh, to, to, uh, uh, read in, you know, directions and stuff, but me as an engineer, um, it's now left-handed people. Oh, so what'd you do to it? I flipped the blade and the collar and, uh, and, and yeah, the, it, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's left-handed now. So. Okay, cool. Carry on. <laughs> Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Awesome. This is why I get paid the small bucks. The <laughs> small bucks. Is that like a Starbucks? Uh, sure. Bucks? Uh, star schmucks? Sure. Hey, Mary, she's back. Aw, you guys, I love the bracelet Melissa made, and I won. Made me some jewelry again. That is so cool, Jania. I saw the pictures you posted on the 70 Acres Art Flock Facebook group, 
And uh, man, that was just some wicked good stuff. I am so glad you enjoy it. <laughs> Mama B says, that's my son. <laughs> you know, I am a fourth generation mechanic. I'm going to turn those uh, lights off. Hmm. Get that bottle away from there. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it's flammable. Just stop it. <laughs> Just doing whatever, because again, don't like it. You can. Hey, Jada. Hey, Jada. Oh, thank you, Diana. She says, "Well done, PJ." Whoop whoop. Now I don't know how well it picks oh, up. Oh wow! But you can see how as the alcohol burns off, and it brings it back to the center, it's giving you like dimensions in that color. Oh man! Can it we add some red in there? Or like some fuchsia. Why? Because I just think it would look good. I don't know. <laughs> but flip cameras. We'll leave the light off. So see how it gives you like depth. It almost looks like I put eight layers of color on here very carefully when all I did was a puddle of blue, some alcohol drops, and set it on fire. So Kiki and uh, Linda Scott both want to know what's the uh, what's the flame do it. What it does. Is all right. We'll give you an example. So let's say you put your alcohol ink on there. <laughs> because fire is awesome. <laughs> yes, Heather, it is that too. But you can see. Oh, wow. Blue lobster on the left. Yeah. Good call, Kimmery. So even with moving that blob around, how it's kind of one dimensional, except for where it's still thicker and still real wet. Whereas when I put the alcohol here and lit it on fire, you can see the different color striations in that, where here you're kind of stuck with maybe two shades of blue. Here you have like wisps of different shades of blue all in that one area. I I think it looks really cool. <laughs> Jane says she is accident prone. <laughs> so am I. I mean, that's all out of a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hey, Kimberly. Switch cameras, production boy. Production. I never promised to produce. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Fire. Yeah, I'm a slacker. I've been busy at work and uh, then doing stuff around here. Uh, so I did not have a chance to get the uh, soundboard prepped for tonight's episode. <laughs> so instead of hearing Jim Brewer or, uh, you know, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, the lead singer of uh, ACDC, do it himself. Uh, you're just going to hear me go, Fa! Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I hoped would happen. It would really darken up. That's pretty. Um. Well, thanks for jumping on, Kimberly. She's got to go to the gym, but she wanted to say hi. Well, hey, Kim. And bye, Kim. <laughs> so what has everyone bought on Amazon this week with the holiday season coming up? We got some stuff for Carrie's car. We got some more art supplies, and I, uh, I got some more production stuff. But uh, yeah, what about you guys? I don't know. See no fire. That's there. Something's wrong with that picture. New. No. <laughs> this girl is on fire. <laughs> bright enough for you? Yeah, that's that's pretty bright. Okay. 
Okay, well. uh, I definitely have to do this. Not in my craft room. You and Carrie have seen why, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Helen's craft room is extremely cluttered. Kind of like Carrie's. Hey, I'm in a corner. She has we, a whole room. Yeah, yeah. True, true. There is no comparison. Ooh, Jane says she got a scanning cut, uh, a scanning cut, cut a scanning mat, little mat, Ooh. of the tax free variety. <laughs> Order yours now on brother.com. No, just kidding. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. As a matter of fact, we're rather pissed at that damn thing. The interface is kludgy. <laughs> it still does more than the, uh, the cricket does. I don't know. It almost met its maker the other night. Yeah, yeah, that it did. I had to tell her to step away. <laughs> step away from the scanning cut. Anytime an inanimate object makes me want to cry. <laughs> uh, yeah. As opposed to an animated object? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fa! I love how it turned purple. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. That's because you added purple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the one thing I've learned, like when I was doing the one and only tile that I've actually actually completed using this method, the bottom of the tile gets nice and warm. Oh yeah! So if your hands get cold, yeah. <laughs> uh, looks like people have been saying what they've been getting on Amazon lately. Ooh, what'd they get? What'd they get? Uh, well, let's see. Mary Mary Brewer hasn't bought anything, but her hubby got her a bunch of stuff, and. Uh, yeah, uh, now you probably are going to want to get some like glue on eyebrows as well if you try this. <laughs> I'm sure Amazon sells something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Linda, uh, my eclectic life, ordered some uh, paste and some movies for her hubby's new TV. Oh. Sounds like a man after my own heart. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Just bought a bunch. Can't wait to use them. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joyce just brought, uh, bought a, uh, uh, an instrument for her hubby. She's having a brain fart though. I can't remember what, like, are we talking a musical instrument or like a mechanical instrument? I'm, I'm inquiring minds want to know and all. Uh, and it, it yeah, no kidding. And in the time being, if you haven't been shopping uh, on Amazon, you can go to Amazon using our affiliate code, which is in the chat room right below. And uh, you can do your shopping with our affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And uh, it does give Carrie a cut to help her with art supplies. So uh, check that out. That way I don't have to hear the art bitch, bitch because I'm spending money on crafty stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Who you calling a bitch? N-I-T-Y. Uh, 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 sorry, couldn't resist. Oh, it's a ukulele. I've always wanted to play with those. I, 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 I do a little dabbling on guitar. And, you know, I like stringed instruments. The banjo just eludes me, though, because I don't do thumb picking. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have a you party mouth. You can't. You can't get your thumb up your nose. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> thumb no, that I can do. Thumb picking. That I can get all my fingers up my nose at individual <laughs> times. Well, I was gonna say, um, I don't think I ever want to see you have all your fingers <laughs> up your nose. I can get two fingers up my nose at once, but that's because I have two nostrils. <laughs> uh, but you don't want to see that either. No, I yeah. really don't. Really, really don't. You know, I post the Amazon link, and then Nightbot says, "Oh, good idea. I think I'll do that too." <laughs> so there now, there's two of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on uh, setting it up so you can just go to like EpiphanyCraft.com/slash/Amazon, and it'll take you right there. And uh, so that way, I don't have to, you know, not be able to say the cryptic link like Amazon.com/slash. Question mark tag equals epiphany craft. Yeah, because that's not really a selling point. But again, slacker. <laughs> At least you acknowledge it. Yeah. Well, in, in my defense, I've been pretty damn busy. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. 
Yeah, I just made my 8,000 steps for the day. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I did that being on, I'm sitting on a stool right now, but I have been moving back and forth. So those are Q-tips. Any Q-tip will do or the, yep. the chamois? Okay. Any Q-tip. Good to know. And hey, they're cheap. Especially when you get them at the dollar store. Yeah. Or if you raid a CVS and just, you know, run for your life. <laughs> but we haven't done that. So just saying. Um, Scotty wants to know, do you have any metallic alcohol inks? Yes, I have gold. The downside to the metallic... <laughs> And there is one. When you try and set that one on fire. It bubbles, right? It'll bubble. It pops. Uh, it uh, crackles. I'll probably do some just to show you. Cool. <laughs> Kim Marie says, fire it up. Fire it up. <laughs> she says, it keeps going through my head from the crow. Yeah. We were talking about that, I think, on I Sunday. I love that movie. That movie is like, we both brought that into our relationship. That and Dogma. We both had the director's cut of Dogma and the the director's cut of uh, The Crow. And uh, that's how we knew that we were going to be a lifelong uh, thing. <laughs> Mama B says, I have the metallics and white pearls. I have Blanco. Ah, Blanco. That's white, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Lori wants to know, is Carrie using the blending solution or straight alcohol? That is 99% isopropyl, baby. This is regular alcohol. This is the blending solution. That The only time I really break this out is if I'm having something that's being super stubborn or when you get those really like thick black areas, I'll go in and I'll hit it with that, and then I'll hit it with some alcohol. And if I'm using fire, it gets fired up. Yeah. I'm gonna take a look at this and see if I can figure out what is inside of it. It's got. It's not straight alcohol. That's why I'm looking to see what is inside of it. Don't get <laughs> lippy. Oh my goodness gracious. Hmm. Maybe. <sighs> okay, so it's got like 10 ingredients in it, so I'm not even going to try. But I have a I have a sneaking suspicion that alcohol mixed in with some uh with e uh, ether or ether uh ether uh ethanol. There you go. Uh corn alcohol pretty much. Uh, I, or if we just got like the the moonshine stuff like mom's got a gallon of for making, you know, uh, solvents and stuff. I think that would work better than the 99% isopropyl. It's sippable. Because that's how I roll. Because that's how you roll. Uh, that is how I roll. Kill. So I'm going to put the lights back on over there and I'm going to see if we can still see the fire. Oh, don't throw that shit in my face. <laughs> I don't want it in mine either. It didn't need to be all the way over there. And yes, we can still see the uh, the flame, I believe. I don't have anything on fire right now. You know? Okay, uh, another glycerin. Uh, L Lisa says a mixture of alcohol and glycerin works pretty good, too. Oh, wow. Mary's got both of those movies. So I take it you're a Kevin Smith fan, Mary? Both of what movies? Uh, the Crow and Dogma. Well, The Crow isn't Kevin Smith. I I'm aware of that, but Dogma is. It's his well most well-known movie. No. <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh, wow. You'd think with a bunch of alcoholics, you'd be able to get 99% uh, alcohol. Uh, Helen says we can't get 99 percent here uh 250 and 500 mils uh that's 10 bucks tried getting it sent to me would have to pay 250 bucks dangerous good what that's crazy you've got to be able to get isopropyl rubbing alcohol i mean the the way they all, they treat you all down there do they have like rubber bumpers going down the lanes of the highway so you guys can't get in accidents you know do they wrap you in bubble wrap well you know in their defense, you do remember what happened in the 90s when they had guns. Yes, I'm aware. So I understand. Some but people just can't take 99%. There's no reason why not. 
in contrary of my uh, gestage, uh, just, uh, just, just, just worthy comment. I don't know how to say it. My jest of a comment, because uh, I don't speak too goodly. Um, uh, uh, you know, I, we do actually love Australia and would love to visit, but uh, we just like to make fun because why the hell not? Yeah, Lisa says she uses 91% all the time. Uh, that You know, that's what I used for uh, the jelly plate that we are going to be giving away in the near future. But not now, because we haven't made it yet. We will be doing a fully produced video on that probably uh, just around the new year. And um, from there, we will have all of the details you need to know to be able to get one of your very own. Hey, Happy Ray. Hey, Ray. Wanda says it looks like a heart ornament in the bottom corner. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. I think it's on the top now, or at least there's another no, heart. It's right there. But there's another heart top center. Oh, right there. Yeah, right there. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, t I totally planned that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get a drink. I'll be right back. Nope, I am good. All right, let's see. We have the gold that is Tim Holtz, aka Ranger, and we have rich gold from Pinata. So we will have a I want the four gold. Well, you already have that. <laughs> Having fun, are we? Yeah, figured. Might as well shake them both at the shake same time. Up. For all our Cars fans out there. Shake it up. Is there such a thing? What, Cars fans? Mm -hmm. I'm a Cars fan. Or I'm a The Cars fan. I love The Cars. Candy O is probably their best album ever. Ooh, I can hear it. Occasionally. <laughs> All right, so what that gave us was here. Yeah, here is the Jacquard Pinata Noir Gold. Uh, it's shinier and kind of uh, dried flatter, a little smoother looking. And there's Tim Holtz. It's almost see-through, and it looks kind of bumpy and filigreed or something. So I guess it depends on what you're going for. And this is why we burn, because you're just not going to get the dimension and the layers and the almost tree-like rings that you would get uh, with without it. Wow. Just don't burn the dog. He's right underneath. I am not going to burn the dog. <laughs> K 
Kelly Wood says pinata gold is better. I agree. I agree. Can you wipe it off easy? Linda McAllister, the awesome person, artist, lady, woman, wants to know. Wipe off what? The gold? Yes. Um, chances are the pinata looks like it would come off easier, whereas the ranger looks like it's baked on. Okay. At least that's how it looks from over here. We will find out shortly, though. I did not do that. I did too. I saw you. All right. So I met a twin yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was freaky. Uh, so I'm on. Uh, well, there's a pro. There's a website out there called OfferUp, and it's. Uh, it, you can also use Let Go. They're the same freaking thing, but essentially, uh, it's like Craigslist was, where you find shit really cheap. You go out and you risk getting jumped or mugged, but sometimes you really get a great deal. And uh, so it's like Craigslist in that way, except Craigslist never went all the way and, and actually got a mobile app. So Craigslist is almost a dead horse at this point. Uh, anywho, so I was looking on OfferUp for a backup DSLR camera. I figured if I can get one on the cheap and, you know, it used the same lenses that ours does and, uh, you know, whatever, we can set two lenses up on two tripods and get two simultaneous angles using two different dimensions. And I figured that would be really cool for the production videos. Well, I'm, you know, had a guy, it was a great price. It had, you know, some accessories with it. And I was like, all right, hey, is this still available? And he messaged back stating that, no, it was stolen. And, oh, man, you always hate when it gets stolen. But, yeah, he said how uh, three uh, gentlemen in hoodies came up and uh, they, they, they grabbed it and just ran off into the woods. And, you know, that's just such a sad situation. But anyway, we got to talking and, uh, you know, we, we got to talking about our work and he found, you know, come to find out he works with the uh, U.S. Postal Service and I used to contract at the USPS. So we start talking, talking, talking about life, talking about, you know, whatever. And we got to talking about music and I was like, man, didn't expect to find you. And, uh, you know, just looking for a camera. So I said, hey, I'm out, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to bed. Hit me up later if you want to chat. Otherwise, sorry, it got stolen. And uh, so he's like, yeah, you on Facebook? And I gave him my URL. Well, anyway, I pull up a picture of his profile pic when he sends me a friend request. And I'll be damned if I'm not looking at a 21-year-old version of me. Or Kelly when he's 21. Yeah. I mean, it was because I'm sitting across the room. Next thing I know, I look up and I see this picture. I said, twinsies much? And he was like, I know, right? <laughs> so I spent about an hour and a half talking with him. Turks comes out like he is a huge fan. He's 21. I'm 37. And he grew up and, you know, he just gravitated towards classic rock. And so he loves Genesis, Jethro Tull, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Zappa, uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer. I mean, he is a hardcore classic rock junkie. So, um, yeah. And he lives about a half an hour away. So I think we're going to have to go out for drinks one time with him over at our uh, or dinner uh, at our uh, favorite bar in uh, Bar and Grill in Hanover, Pennsylvania. It'll be an excuse for you to go to Hobby Lobby, which is about a quarter. Well, you can just drop me off at Hobby Lobby. You go do your <laughs> thing, and we'll probably finish around the same time. Oh, God, I don't think so. <laughs> what, you don't want me on chaperoned in uh it's not so much that I don't want you on chaperone. I don't want to leave you without a vehicle. And I don't want to leave myself without a vehicle. <laughs> so I, I guess you'd have to take the van from, you know, from, from uh, Bourbon Bar and Grill to uh, Hobby Lobby. The Hobby Lobby. And you can just come pick me up when you're ready. <laughs> okay. Or, you know, come in, have a drink with us, and then we'll have dinner or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, cool cat.
Hey, Sherry. Sherry's in the house. Hey, Sherry. And Kelly's been in the house. I don't know if we said hi to you. Kelly, hello. Hello, and how are you? How are you, Kelly? We really want to know how are you, Kelly? Sorry, I will never do that again, and I apologize. <clears throat> Perfusely. Oh, God. <laughs> Linda Scott says, just before I die, I will swallow a bag of popcorn. My cremation will be epic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Linda, that was gold. That was gold. <laughs> yeah, it's getting to be a nasty little area right there. Hey, Crystal. Sorry. Uh, looks like she's got to go. Aww. But, you know, she's watching TV with her husband. I get you know, it. you watch TV with your husband. It's a good way to bond. Yeah, we, Carrie and I will still be here making beautiful, beautiful art. I don't know about beautiful. I don't know that anyone would not agree with me. I don't know. All right, let's get a poll here. Everyone in the chat room, who thinks this is ugly? Who thinks this is beautiful? Ugly. Leave your comments below if uh, if you're not watching this live, and 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 we will, uh, you know, gladly, uh, you know, read your comments on the next episode, and I'll show you up. But for everyone here, beautiful, ugly, you decide. <laughs> Linda, you are pooping. Oh, popping. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Night, Linda. Night, Linda. McAllister. McAllister. We've got like three Lindas in here. <laughs> Lynn, Linda, and Linda. Linda, Linda, Linda. Let's hope your mom doesn't show up. I uh, know. Another Linda. Yeah. Linda, Linda. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We've got Helen saying beautiful. You're biased, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> You'd say that to anything she makes. Then again, so would I. It, well, I might say it with a smirk if I didn't really believe it. But uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the sign. <laughs> oh, come <one>. on. <laughs> <laughs> Helen says beautiful again. And uh, yeah, Linda's going to still be here from the bed. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Linda. <laughs> um, She's going to start calling you pink socks. <laughs> I would deserve it. I would deserve it. So uh, Crystal says booty full. Jane, Wanda, Kelly says beautiful. Some with a bunch of exclamation points. Uh, mm. Explanation points are marks. I can never tell. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Diana says it's beautiful, lovely, and vibrant colors. Pam says pretty. I'm happy because it's making my hand warm. Yeah. Linda, Linda McAllister says pooped, but I don't think she was talking about that. <laughs> happy Ray says beautiful. Kimberly says beautiful. Everyone's saying beautiful. Oh, Diana says it's gorgeous. Mary says beautiful. Well, thank you all. So, ha! 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 Word, ha! It's not ugly. Aw, Linda said she had to refresh. It wouldn't set me. Let me say thank you. Hey, Dawn Fitzgerald. Aw, and gorgeous Carrie. I think so, too. Mama B says, love that tile. That one got a little warm. I don't doubt it. Just watch your fingers. Right there. Oh, Jesus. Why are you burning yourself? Because it's just like when I make dinner. If I don't burn myself a little bit, I know it's not going to taste right. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Put me over here. What if I don't want to put you over there? Put your own damn self over there. Shush. All right. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but I didn't use brown. We got brown. And in there, it turned it different shades of yellow and a real light lavender color. Now, I don't like the amount of black that's around here. I always end up with that no matter what I do, and it drives me nuts. It takes a lot of me fidgeting with something before I get it right. But I love how it gives it that real soft, almost like a watercolor effect. It looks like a lily petal. Yeah. But, you know, you get the idea. It, you've had a rough, stressful day. 
Get yourself a towel, some alcohol, ink, and a torch. Set some stuff on fire. You feel good pretty quick. Yeah. Heather says the two pink lines. Yeah, no, I'm oh. trying to figure out what she's talking about. Oh, this is before you. Oh. Yeah, turned it. In the blue on the left. Where he turned it. Violent creature from Avatar wearing a pink bikini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Someone's no. gotten into the shrooms. Speaking of nothing. Uh, yes, we do seal them. Uh, you want to use something that isn't water based to do so. Otherwise, you're going to like smear or wipe off everything that you've done. Um, and yes, you can use them as coasters. You can use them as coasters. Uh, and I think the reason mine failed when I tried it is because I wasn't paying attention to the directions. I was in Carry Land, and that's its whole own world. But I tried using um, engine enamel. And engine enamel will give you um, the ability to sit something hot on it without the coaster sticking to it. If you just use like regular polyurethane, if you try and sit something hot on it, you know how you'll get condensation and everything else? Well, whatever it is you set down on it will stick to the coaster. And I'm sure you, everybody's had those coasters oh, yeah. where you sit your drink on it. It could be cold and it could be wet. And you go to pick it up and the coaster comes with it and yeah. then falls back down. So uh, I had been watching, I think it was in the Tim Holtz Alcohol Inc. or Tim Holtz Facebook group. I don't even remember what it's called because I try not to go in there because while I, I've the man irritates me. I do like a lot of his stuff, but then I look at the prices and he really makes me mad. But uh, people in there were trying to make coasters and they're people in uh, the pouring group, you know, trying to uh, make coasters out of tiles that they poured a lot of round and rounds by all these people. And somebody found that when they used engine enamel, sprayed it, and the directions on the can are to seal it and cure it in the oven for X amount of time at X temperature. And I'm saying X because apparently what I mem remember is totally wrong. <laughs> it was more like it was it more like this. V point five. It was white. The majority of that was like white. And then you had uh, blue and purple, and it was kind of sparkly and metallic. It was really pretty. Yeah. Until Carrie put it in the oven and either left it in too long <laughs> or wrong temperature or who knows what or all the above. And it did that. But guess what doesn't stick to it? It works wonderfully. It just looks like crap. Oh, yeah. And I still use it. Carrie wanted to throw it away. And yeah, I was, I was like, going to no. chuck it. No, so. no, we're not throwing it away. Because I tell you what, I do. I use that thing every damn day. I When I get home, I, I usually have a really tall tumbler filled with ice, lemon juice, and, uh, and water. And uh, you know, I always put my cup down on it. It has never stuck. Do I use you, my weekend coffee on it. It never sticks. Do you want me to go get it or you want to go get it? Uh, what, the engine and out? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we I can, can show it. Yeah. So we can show it. What it is. BRB PPL. Because I know it works because I have seen, like, because the thread or the group, whatever it was that I saw this in, it was a guy. Um, he had gotten into pouring, did coasters, one, or did tiles, wanted to make coasters, and he did a lot of research and a lot of trial and error. And then he found the uh, engine enamel and he did before and after pictures tested it he i mean he did pictures showing like he had done a large trivet and had like this pot of boiling hot water sitting on top of one of the tiles he had cured uh, with the engine enamel and it was fine 
And so I know it works. So I know that that error was on me and not on the product. And he even posted a picture of it. And this is the exact same thing that he used. So for anybody who's tempted and might want to try making coasters and want to see if you can get yours to look better, which <laughs> it shouldn't be hard to do. Yeah. Um, Andrea wants to know, where can I get engine enamel? Truth be told, we got that at Lowe's, I think. No. No, no. That's right. We had to order it on Amazon. Yeah. Got it Using on Amazon. Using our, our affiliate code. <laughs> we did. Uh, yeah. He posted a picture of it in the group, went right to Amazon, looked it up, compared the picture on Amazon to the picture he posted. It's the same exact thing. I've only tried it the one time because... It, I got really mad with myself and I didn't want to screw anything else up, but I'll, I'll give it a whirl again. I'm sure I, it's not like I don't do enough pouring around here. I mean, come on. Yeah. So Kimberly says that Debbie at acrylic pouring, which I am a, I'm a member of her group. She said, uh, uh, she tested the duplicator and her mug du didn't duplicate. Du yeah. That, that, that too. And, uh, she says the mug did not stick. Oh, very cool. And Lisa says she uses hers for trivets, too. Very cool. Whatever trivets are. Trivets are the bigger tiles like this would oh, could ooh. be considered a trivet. Ooh, we have to make trivets. So, yeah. But whatever you guys can uh, come up with that works for you or is cheaper or that you can actually get your hands on and it works for you. Awesome. Let me know. Because, <laughs> you know, can't, it doesn't hurt to have more info. You know, getting stuck in one lane doesn't always help you. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly says, uh, by the way, you can get that at AutoZone, just for the record, uh, or Advanced Auto or 8 Auto Store or any kind of auto body store uh, or auto store where they sell stuff like that. Anyway, uh, Kimberly says, just be careful about the fumes that it puts off. It puts off toxic fumes. Uh, yeah, that's why we have a toaster oven and we will be putting it downstairs in our basement with an open door. right? Or next it'll to wait until summertime and it can go outside and with an extension cord. Summer, summer, summer. Exactly. Time. Tribbles, Scotty, no trivets. <laughs> Tribbles, Tribbles is Star Trek, dear. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine pouring on a Tribble? That would be so cool. I, I don't know. It would just mat its fur. <laughs> that would be so cool. Unless you wanted to shave it. Haven't I already shaved enough? <laughs> hey, I had. Hey, you better hope Moo doesn't come in here and you make her mad again or do something mean. You'll be getting, I'll get paint out to do a paint slap. Oh, man. So. Oh. Kelly, I would, unless you have really good ventilation, I would use a toaster oven. I mean, it's not that it needs to bake for hours and it's not a super high temperature, but it's still in your house and it's not something you're going to want to smell. And if you're even slightly bothered by different smells or anything, this this will definitely trigger it. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you are psychotic, sure, do it in your house. I, mean, I, I think we did, actually. Yeah, didn't we, we did. <laughs> it, but it was summertime. We had the windows open. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it and it and again, it. I think I left it in too long. Yeah, because that's how it got burned. It was GBD. Because we were sitting there talking about something. I, I don't even remember what the conversation was about. But you know, next thing I know, I was like, <gasps> and it was like, yep, they're burnt. <laughs> so it, you know, everything in, with caution and in moderation. So. But, so, do we get to do one more? Um, yeah, we'll do a little one. We'll do a little one. I'll tell you what. Let's, Let's have one more. Over there somewhere. All right. All right. Move you. Can's cold. It must be. No, it wasn't that bad. And my slipper keeps coming off. That sounds like a personal problem. It is a personal problem, but I'm sharing. Sharing is caring. Okay. Yes. 
All right. Yes, yes, yes. So. Never trust times and temperatures. Every oven is different. How correct Mama B is. <laughs> Fire it up. Oh, Fire it working up. On it. All right, fun boy. Yeah, it's always nice to get a digital oven thermo thermometer. Uh, that way you don't have to uh, really worry about what the oven says. You can look at the accurate temperature. Ah, oh, it's nice and warm. <laughs> well, we None won't... of my hands were cold from the can. <laughs> it feels good. Well, we won't need heat tonight. We can just, uh, we'll, we'll light a couple tiles. Yeah, sure. Because <laughs> yeah, that, that lasts hours right there hey get a bigger tile use a tribble or a, tri or a trivet <laughs> i like the idea of a tribble though that's kind of oh, like the well getting back to my psychotic roots here <laughs> but uh yeah that that would be kind of cool lisa says i gotta go make more english toffee for gift giving I hope she's uh, giving gifts our way. I love the <laughs> stuffy. Uh, well, have a good one, uh, Lisa. Thanks for stopping, boy. Good night, Lisa. And uh, come back if you want to see us. Aw, Lori's frustrated because she's on her mom's laptop and she can't see any other comments. Oh, I'm sorry, Lori. <laughs> oh, what a shame. And Kim, I have not tried painting with the inks. Like I said when I saw your post today, I was going to try that tonight. I don't want to bite off of you. <laughs> so that and I told everybody we'd be setting stuff on fire. Ha! Exactly. So I figure we'll we'll stick with flameage. Fire it up. That and since I haven't actually tried it, it might be good to do that one when I can cuss and get mad and go wash tiles off and try again and <laughs> at Kelly, least the first time. Kelly said, do you need my address, Lisa? <laughs> oh, for the talk. Oh, yeah. Hey, our address is in the uh, Happy Mail file over on Mama B's uh, art flock. Just saying. You don't have to, but just saying. How's that warm hand of yours? Feeling good. Oh, feeling great. Sorry. You know, I really have the urge to spin the tunes from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. <laughs> live on Epiphany FM. Yeah. Like, I, I really, I just want to play some music for you guys. But any of the music I could play would be kind of... Not really suitable. Uh, not because it's like naughty or anything. It's just it's boring. It's it's stock music. Andrea, no, I haven't tried resin yet. I have a fear of resin because it's so damn expensive. Because I want to do resin pouring, and if I get resin to do uh, finishing, I'm going to want to get resin to do pouring with. Um, I've wanted to do resin pouring even before I actually started pouring paint. Mm. Um, but I don't own or have that much money. I'm not Scrooge McDuck. I can't walk in the door and dive into a huge pile of gold coins. And I don't think I'm lucky enough to be able to rob banks to keep that habit up. Yeah. So, And um, I wouldn't want to have conjugal visits. That, you know, that's too <laughs> limiting for me. Uh, Gail says, hey, PJ, you must have known I just got here. Yeah, play that music. Hmm. Be careful about that glove, missy. Yes. Yes, yes. I don't want to have to peel a molten, uh, like a molten hot glove off your hand. Eh, let it cool down. It'll come off easier. Huh. Yeah, Kimberly says she's doing, uh, she's working up to uh, uh, do resin pours someday. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really want to do resin pours. Oh, I really want you to do resin pours, but damn, it's expensive. I mean, we've got that bottle, uh, that part A, part B kit that we got I mean, for that's, you. yeah. But you but haven't touched it because, like, you don't want to break that cherry. You don't want to pop it. <laughs> because I know as soon as I open it, even though I got it to do um, jewelry. Yeah. I know it'll be, okay, well, it's open. I bet if I do, you know, something that's like a four by four and did it as a resin pour, I bet I have enough in here and, you know, I'll still be able to get some more jewelry out of this bottle. But I, I just, yeah. yeah, I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> Gail says, hey, everyone, I just finished making several dozen sugar cookies for everyone here. Oh, wait. No, it just it doesn't say that last Come part. on, Gail. You know the <laughs> rules. Unless you bring enough for everybody. Even though PJ doesn't apparently play by those rules. Considering you kept talking about cheesecake last time. I'm a rebel. What can I say? You're a rebel, huh? Yeah. Hey, at least I have a cause. Gary, you are making us nervous. Put the tile down. <laughs> oh, Joyce. <laughs> but, Mom. <laughs> Kim Marie says the red one looks like a heart, a real one, that is. <laughs> There's one of the resin artists told me he uses East Coast resin for his color layers, then a top coat is art resin. That actually makes sense. Art resin is more expensive, but it does dry really clear and glossy. Mm -hmm. But you still got to deal with the smell of the East uh, East Coast resin. Yeah. I'm sure that's legit, like commercial resin. Yep. <laughs> Joyce says, I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, see, Lynn's my favorite now. Lynn, <laughs> Lynn just says, I spent the whole day yesterday making Hungarian cookies. What are Hungarian oh, cookies? Man, I want to know so bad what a Hungarian cookie is. Like, I love So why are sweets. you drooling over something you don't even know what it is? Because I'll be honest with you, I have never had a foreign sweet that wasn't to die for. Like Ugh. from like from Golobjamin from India Ugh. to just That's just wrong to like you know the Greeks have um <laughs> oh what the hell's the name of the Greek uh it's got nuts and stuff and flaky layers it's really good baklava yeah baklava <laughs> I've never had that oh baklava so good I don't I don't like nuts and yeah see other people want to know too Andrea says what are Hungarian cookies. Ah, Kimberly says East Coast resin doesn't actually smell that bad. She's been playing with it. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to see that. How expensive is it, Kimberly? And she says it's cheap. Guess what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've only been saying that for oh oh my god i've actually had these things it's a little pastry with cherry ras uh with cherry raspberry and apricot fillings oh yeah i've had those those are so good <laughs> heather's got my back she says i love baklava no no that's what i'm saying yeah it is greek you said it was greek yeah that's what i said it was hungarian cookies are hungarian Hungarian cookies are Hungarian. You don't say. They're Hungary. I thought maybe they migrated or whatever to Hungary, but they're originally, you know, like their grandpa's grandpa yeah. was from Istanbul or something. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks, Kimberly. She says she doesn't remember. <laughs> Less than art resin. Yeah. Okay. I will look it up on Amazon using our affiliate code. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the annoying used car salesman. <laughs> and now it's forty nine ninety five. That's right, folks. Forty nine ninety five comes with two free tires. Two free tires. Yeah. What the hell? Mm, I don't know. Needs four to run. <laughs> oh, all right. East Coast regular. Um, 
let's see. East Coast resin is a gallon kit costs sixty three bucks, and that's oh. for a gallon. Mm. Yeah, both parts A and B. And how much is art resin for the same amount? Uh, I will look. Just out of curiosity. Curiosity. Art resin is. Uh, I don't see it. Hold on. Art resin. I don't see art resin. We're on Amazon? Yeah. Where is it? Is I'm it not, one word? I don't know. Uh, I No, I'm not allowed to get it, so I'm going to look <laughs> at it. Uh, environmental tech, envirotech, pour on. Uh, Micah Pallet, no. It's like knowing you can't afford a Lamborghini. You don't bother going to look at it. No. All right. Yeah, I don't see art resin on Amazon. Uh, a one gallon studio kit is a one nineteen. A two gallon professional kit is one eighty nine. Good lord! Yeah, hey, that's right, folks. Four gallons of professional grade kit, three forty nine. Just three forty nine. That's crazy. Yeah, just one monthly payment of three forty nine. Yeah, so I'd have to agree that uh, the the other stuff is good and cheaper. I must have put too much. That yeah. one burned a while. Got a slow burn going on. That one burnt a while. Gail's talking about tiramisu. Ooh, we like tiramisu. Uh, it has. I, I, if I see that it has like a really soggy bottom, I can't eat it. It's just gross. I I'm picky. Dig it. I'm picky, man. So Gail came in late, and she wants to know why the flame. I'll just tell her because you've already said it twice. <laughs> the flame is to get more layers out of it. It helps the uh, it helps the, the it, it helps bring out the layers, the the rings to it. The the you know I don't know how to say it. She said it better. You'll have to rewind the video for that one. I'll moment. I'll say it. Again. Just give me a minute. I'll do it. Just give me a minute. Um, right in front of you, <laughs> Ooh, melty plastic. Would you stop that? Right there. Right there. One in my hand. Uh, what am I going to do with See, you? They usually have it up on this. Uh, uh, uh. Don't. Don't. <laughs> All right. The reason for fire. Fire! Other than it's like really fun and it makes the towel warm and it warms up your hand. Is that. I don't know. Come on, focus. 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 You, you can do it. Yeah. Um. I don't think that's gonna uh, do that. All right, let's try the other one. All right. Like. All right. That right there is green. Oh, I hate being on camera. The <laughs> <laughs> is green, but because of the way the alcohol burned off, it kind of shifts the pigment around to where you'll start getting that real watercolored distressed kind of looking depth to the color instead of it being just your straight up flat green or it's a little darker because you put another drop of green on it it kind of builds up those shades by Setting it on fire. See, that's what she said. So, that's why. That, and again, it's fun. <laughs> it, it, it makes for an interesting evening. Yeah. Well, you know it's only fun until Daddy takes your T-bird away. Yeah, so they say. So they say.
<laughs> Knew that was going to be bad. <laughs> And they really can't see how just tall those flames are. <laughs> so Mama Joyce was right in saying, Carrie, you're making us nervous. Especially on this little <laughs> tile. It's bad. Yes. I gotta flip that around. Because Carrie is upside down <laughs> at this current point in time. There we go. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. Because that and I don't want Carrie smacking me out because I'm putting her on camera. Because I don't know if you know this, but I love Carrie. I just don't love it when she's smacking me. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I do it all the time. Look what you did on Sunday with the paint. You smacked the you shit out of me. You deserved it. <laughs> you deserved it. And I didn't smack you. I smushed. <laughs> Andrea wants to know who came out. Uh, she wonders who came out with that flame thing. Oh, uh, setting this on fire? Yes. Was I, that a carry idea? No, not a carry idea. Okay. I will not even pretend to take credit. I saw... Or responsibility. I think the first person I saw do this was Beetlewing. Hmm. I think that's the, the dude's YouTube name, Beetlewing. And that was a while ago. I, I try to keep my pyrotechnical needs at bay as long as I can. My luck will run out and I'll catch something on fire. You know, true story. I've actually done that. I have. When I was a kid, I was a pyromaniac and had some heating kerosene in the basement. Well, it <laughs> I spilt some on my shoes and they went ablaze. And uh, just running around trying to put it out and throwing my shoes off. Well, the, the fire spread. <laughs> but I got it all out before I was caught because of the smoke smell. <laughs> what the hell is all this smoke? Whoopsies. Yeah. My bad. I haven't been a pyromaniac since then. <laughs> hey, two by two. Hands of blue. Yeah, this is the only thing I typically wear gloves for, is using alcohol ink. They just, they're too hard to get off. Gail says, OMG, PJ, what is she talking? Oh, yeah, the fact that I almost burnt my shit down. Yeah, that wasn't good. I'm just burnt your feet off is more like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, now you can see. Uh, now, you, now, now that, that was at my grandma's house. Yep. So she didn't have to deal with that uh, shit storm. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, now you can actually see how big the flames are. Rather nice. Mm -hmm. Mm You play with fire, you get burnt. Yes, you do. That is positively the truth. Yeah, Kimberly knows the struggle. She says uh, alcohol ink stains your hands easily. Yes. Yes, it do. And, you know, it would be nice if ranger would make their bottles so that they don't leak i mean it's not like they're giving that stuff away they charge you a premium and you end up i think sometimes with more on your hand and the bottle and the inside of the cap than you actually get to use to make anything yeah well it's no better than apple products really we stop with apple <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Looks great on the outside, crap on the inside. Watch out, Art Inspector. Watch out, Art Inspector. Watch out, you too. <laughs> Look you at that too. tail going. Yeah, yeah, mommy has a burnt nothing. I still have all my arm here and both eyebrows. Yeah. Yes, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you. So it meets with your approval? That's good. So Kim wants to confirm. So they don't spurt just as you tip it? Um, no, you do have to give a little bit of pressure. At least on these. I. Yeah, what about spots of ink where you didn't want them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You it, get a will, lot of that. it will do that on occasion. I'm trying to get used to crazy stuff like that just from pouring. Yeah. I have to ask. I've seen this a couple times in the chat room tonight. PMSL. What the deuce is that? Huh. I don't know. Is it something related to premenstrual syndrome? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I doubt it. <clears throat> Diana says, "Aw, cute puppy. Yeah, that's Lucy, our paint inspector. Our art, art inspector. Our, our Get art the title inspector. right or she will yeah, dock your yeah, paycheck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how I'm she salary. Is. Oh, she'll, she'll do something to get back at you. You know how she is. You know how she is. Did you figure out a way to prevent them from doing that, Carrie? From doing what? Spurting. Or dripping occasionally where you don't want it. Oh, pissing myself laughing. <laughs> that is uh, awesome. Uh, so that's like LMAO, but out the front. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. I really, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> I like four letter things. Four letter things. Yeah. And no, I have not figured out how to prevent them from doing that. It, I, I don't know. I think it's a racket. <laughs> I think it's all a racket because you can see right there. Well, you might not be able to see right there. Switch, Switch it. Right there. It did a drop of mm -hmm. whatever it wanted to. So, no. Can't say that I figured it out. <laughs> but it still looks damn good. If you say so. Uh, you've, we've already had this discussion. It's not just me saying so. But see, here's the fun part. Stream's over. I can just go wash them off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why would you do that, honey? Um... Give them to the chat room. Don't wash them off. Yeah, wash them off. Free use them. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I really don't know why you are so down on yourself. You are such a, a, a talented person. I just I don't get Not it. Not everything I touch and alcohol inks are hit or miss. But I definitely want to try <laughs> using a paintbrush and doing it. Yeah. Hey, Gail, you have a great night, she says. Uh, oh, uh, she's got to yeah. go ice the cookies. That's the fun part. Yeah. That's the fun part. I like to ice things. Oh, uh, to refill your little bottles, Kim? Or to try and use the big bottles to do art with? I don't think I've seen the big bottles. I like watching Carrie do it, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm setting stuff on fire. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, come on, Diana. Just get yourself somewhere where, where there's nothing flammable around you. Whoa, Helen's talking about other four-letter ones. <laughs> LMFO. I think she means LMFAO. I don't know. Uh, LMCO. God, I don't know that I want to know what that means. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> Laughing my... Well, it could go both ways. <laughs> Aw, Kim Marie's leaving. Aw, why are you leaving us? 
Yes, she got tired of fire. Oh, Mama B says, Carrie, you are very talented. Thank you, Mama B. And now that I know you're here and awake and not in a pain induced agony. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was supposed to open it, but your son told me, yeah, go ahead and open it. I never said she couldn't open it. She never said she couldn't know that you couldn't open it. I didn't know. It's not Christmas yet. Well, neither party celebrates Christmas. Really. I'm aware, <laughs> but they are uh, the Faber Castell. I'm aware. Oh, Look at right. the freaking screen. I know. Boy, that. with buttons <laughs> sitting there waving your arms at me like somebody <laughs> hurt you. You're always pointing oh at the wrong God. screen. I'm just trying to give you a heads up and you weren't confirming. But it is the 48 Pit Artist Pens brush. And I took, I opened it up, looked down, went, ooh, <laughs> and read the little book that comes in it and. Looked at the little drawstring oh, and man. stuff like that, but I haven't actually used them yet. I didn't want to get, I would have been sitting here doodling and y'all wouldn't have watched me set stuff on fire tonight. There wouldn't have been a stream because I would have been like, no, I'm playing with these. The only thing is stupid. I don't know if it was Amazon or if it came from the seller like that, but boy, somebody had on. Fun time throwing this poor box around. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. We should call them up and say it was damaged in <laughs> shipping. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and it the sticker on the um. No, I kept it. I know I did. I hadn't gone out there away yet. But there was a, or maybe I did throw it away. I don't know. But it came with like a plastic box, clear box that it was in. And, you know, with the where they could scan it and stuff like that. It looked like this thing had been around since the early 90s. Yeah. So now I'm kind of afraid that when I do go that they're going to be dried out. So Well, Mama B says return it if anything is damaged. As, oh, I will. as we will. I mean, I can I can deal with the box being bent. I just hope none of the pens are dried out or anything weird. Because, like I said, this box looks like it's been beat around somewhere else for a while. So <laughs> uh, I'll probably sit and doodle with them and see how they act. And hopefully none of them have given up the ghost. Yes, Art Inspector. Oh, my shift is over. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> is that what you're saying? My shift is over? Okay. All right. So, I'm hoping Mama B will be up for Cranky Crafters on Friday. Maybe. Hopefully. We hope. Hopefully. And if not, we can take a break off because, you know, it is, you know, that time of year, Christmas. It's, it's Christmas time is here again. <laughs> It's Feliz Noggy Dog. Naughty Dog. <laughs> Noggy Dog. Naughty Dog. And, well, it's going to be up to Mama B. If she feels up to it, we'll be here. Uh, I'll be trying to hopefully teach her how to make these. Will you stop changing the freaking camera? <laughs> I'm getting different Oh, she's bringing wire Ooh, and paint. Ooh, okay. And my luster Mod Podge. Ooh. Awesome. We're going to have some fun. So she'll be cussing, probably. And I'll probably be cussing, probably. And I'm going to be a good boy, yeah, probably. <laughs> not. And uh, we're going to take it slow and... Go through and make it. So if you want to play along, get yourself some 20 gauge copper wire, uh, some wire snips, obviously, uh, something that you want to use to wrap with, um, like whatever diameter you want to use. I use the handle from an X-Acto blade. Uh, if you have a glue stick the one thing you have to watch with the glue sticks though the hoops get kind of big and that's what this size is 
these are from the handle or from this. And you so, know, if you don't have any fancy knobbies or handles, a double A battery works just fine. Yeah, double A battery. You can use a wooden dowel. Like if you have, like we have tons of past their prime sponge brushes. Take the spongy part off. And you've and, got a dowel. And then you got a dowel. So if you want to play along, just gather that. If you have nail polish, paint, wood glue, or um, Mod Podge, you're set. Mod Podge is my favorite. Yeah, the Mod Podge is cool. And we will sit here, we will chit, we will chat, and we will make some uh, pretty little wire flowers. I just hope none of us chits <laughs> too much. Oh, <laughs> never know. It's cranky crafters. <laughs> we just might. Uh, constipated crafters, more like it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching me set stuff on fire. Yeah, and I want to thank you for being awesome. Uh, you guys are, are always here, and we love having you, and uh, we want to thank you very much for coming out and having fun with us. On that note, we're going to get out of here, and I'd like to thank you again uh, and, and again uh, for coming out. If you want to take a look at everything, Carrie, you can do so at epiphanycraft.com. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Give us that uh, like button if you're not already subscribed or yeah, subscribe button that yeah, same thing. You'll get, <laughs> you'll get it. I have faith in you. Uh, anyway, we're done for tonight. Say good night, Carrie. Later taters. See ya.